Hey! Hi! How you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. So, yeah, you guys read the title. Let's get into it. What is up with this? Why do gamers hate the brown and gray color scheme in video games? From as long as I can remember, every single video game that has a brownish or grayish color scheme, it has been downvoted, degraded, put into a negative light by the general community. I've never, ever, ever heard one person say they like the brown or gray color scheme found in video games. Not once! The vast majority of gamers, if not all gamers, praise color. They praise color. Bright, vibrant colors. I do the same. I praise video games with bright and vibrant colors. I love color. <laughs> but guys, brown and gray are colors too. I mean seriously, how many people have you heard say, this is the generation of brown and gray colorless lifeless shooters? Yeah, you, you've heard that cliche quote before, I'm sure. But why is that a negative? Why is the color scheme of brown and gray put in such a negative light? Well, let's take a look at it. First, at the colors themselves. Brown and gray. Well, to be honest, the colors don't have much going for them. What's brown the color of? Wood? Shit? Y you knew brown is the color of shit. You knew that was going to come up. Um, certain types of fur on animals? And then you have gray. What is gray the color of? Stone. Dirt. Smoke. But let's look at it a bit deeper. Now these colors aren't just associated with items around the world, they're also connected with emotion. I mean, let's look at a color like blue and red. Blue is a more relaxed, easy, calm color, while red is excited and energized. While gray and brown? Gray is more of an anxious, nervous, strained, depressing color. And brown is just... brown. Really not a lot of emotions connected with the color brown, it's just brown, it's just there. So yeah, not really the most cheery of colors. But if you take gray and brown and sprinkle some green and blue and red in there, it's a lot more appealing to the eye. But that still doesn't answer the query or the fact that gamers dislike the brown-gray color scheme and usually call a game a lesser game because of it. The original Gears of War, Clive Barker's Jericho, Legendary, a couple Call of Duties here and there, and even the really good games, Sniper Elite. So is there an actual legitimate reason why the gray and brown color scheme makes a game a lesser game? Or is it really just all psychological and something our mind eludes us to thinking is a bad thing because the colors provoke depressing emotions? Gears of War is a pretty popular series, but the first game does come under fire by specific people for its color scheme. Was the first Gears of War perfect? No. Was it a bad game? No. It was functional, there was certainly fun to be had. What about Call of Duty? There are certainly some brownish and grayish looking CODs out there. You know, after saying that, I just realized I could have been absolutely talking about a fish at that point. So brownish and grayish Call of Duties. Are they bad games? No, not by any means. Are they necessarily good or great games? Uh, a bit far from it. If anything, a few Call of Duties here and there do feel pretty soulless. Actually, almost the exact same thing can be said for Medal of Honor. Then we have the game you are seeing gameplay of, Legendary. While there is a brownish and a grayish overarching color scheme to the game, Honestly, I think the game's primary problem, graphics and color-wise, is that the colors were just a tad bit washed out. Had the contrast been altered a bit slightly, it could have been a much more colorful and eye-pleasing game, but to each his own. But here's the thing when it comes to usually brown and grayish looking shooters. These shooters almost always have a setting of war. The game's plot and story is that of a war. And war is genuinely dark and depressing. And on the battlefield, you're going to be seeing those grays and those browns. War isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Hell, even the original Quake games were arguably pretty brown and gray. Yet people love Quake, and people love Doom, and people love Unreal Tournament. However, Unreal Tournament has always remained very colorful. Maybe it has to do with what the shooter was based off of, what it started on with Doom. 
with Wolfenstein 3D. Those shooters, the sh games that started the shooter genre, were very colorful. And from then on out, there were some pretty colorful shooters that followed. So maybe it's because the brown and gray color scheme breaks away from the norm. It's no longer bright and cheery, but more dark and depressing, and people don't like that. No one likes depressing. No one likes being depressed. But if that's the tone the game is going for, can you really fault it for that? Honestly, I don't know, guys. I don't have the answers. All I can do is speculate. I don't know why the brown and gray color scheme is put in such a negative light. Because it looks ugly? But isn't ugly subjective? Isn't that completely opinion-based? Isn't ugly and beautiful all come from someone's point of view? Again, I don't have the answers. I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. I really want to hear your opinion on this, guys. What are your thoughts and feelings on the brown-gray color scheme in video games? Not just shooters, too. Do you think it's people running their mouths and getting aggressive with their opinions? Do you think it's all about the emotions that the colors provoke? Or is it something else entirely? I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Leave those comments in the comment section below. I can't wait to read them. Did you guys enjoy my commentary, my questions, my speculation? Did you like what I had to say about the video? Did you enjoy the gameplay found in the video? If you did, please hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps you, helps me, helps everybody involved with the video if you hit the like button. And finally, I am the Gamertron. I love talking about video games. I love playing video games. I love everything to do with video games. And if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel and supporting me. This has been a video, and I will see you guys later.